I'd heard some good things about Shrek Untold, but I was not expecting this. I went into this thinking it would be quite a, a generic fan film. It's so much more than that. This is basically shot by shot a reconstruction of one of the greatest films ever. And that, of course, is Shrek. Shrek, for me, is a film that I've seen many times. We studied it in secondary school for whatever reason. I am very fond of it and absolutely adore it. So I went into this hoping it would be a fun way to relive the film in a way that was kind of fresh. And that's exactly what it is. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about Shrek as a narrative itself because I will say if you haven't seen Shrek yet, don't watch this first. Um, it, there, are, <laughs> there are bits that won't make much sense. And... Because, because the animation style switches, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, but there are bits that don't make 100% sense unless you've seen Shrek. Or at least I feel like the, the message comes across clearer in the actual Shrek film. But either way, watch Shrek because you will love it. And then definitely check out this. It is literally the best of my recollection, shot for shot, a film about Shrek. Not a hundred percent actually because for example in one of the opening scenes where Shrek reaches for his toothbrush um, there's actually a Shrek beaker on the shelf. So uh, a little bit of intertextual referencing there and the script is pretty accurate but there are occasional lines that are off the main script um, int intentionally. They're, they're funny lines again um, kind of intertextual. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. So the animation style or the presentation style is what makes this more than a fan film because it's not just a bunch of people dressed up in costumes parading around their back garden, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. This is a masterpiece in terms of cinematic history, I guess. What they've done is they've taken every, literally every animation style you can think of and used it to retell the story of Shrek. And it starts off with a live action, uh, with the director, Grant Dufferin, actually wearing a Shrek costume. And then at some point it switches into animation. And some of these animations are very accurate and brilliant, and some of them are over the top and goofy and meant to look a bit obscure. So we have those different styles. And then sometimes we have a bit more of a CGI approach, it's just absolutely fantastic. And you, from one scene to the next, you don't know what you're going to get. So even though you know what scene is about to happen, you don't know if it's going to be live action, if they're going to have animated it, if they're going to take it seriously with some you know, quality animation, or if they're going to go in the opposite direction and make it look kind of silly and fun and just a little bit insane. And that's part of the fun, and it's a new way of experiencing the story because the story itself is great. But the way it's presented is surprising and, and full of so much excitement, and I absolutely love it. In terms of the voice acting, largely very good. Um, definitely, you know, Shrek and Donkey are all great. The one that actually made me the happiest was the um, Do You Know the Muffin Man exchange with Gingerbread. And I just thought the voice of Gingerbread was absolutely spot on. Um, I'm not 100% sure who the voice of Gingerbread was. There's quite a long list of um, cast on IMDb, but Gingerbread does not appear to be mentioned there. So if you know who it was, you know, please let me know credit where credit is due. It's, it's fantastic. It really is a masterpiece. And as far as parodies and spoofs go, this is the best I have ever seen for Shrek. Of course it is. It's, it's a full-length retelling of the film, shot by shot, including the DreamWorks introduction. I'm really impressed with how they did that. There were certain scenes that I was really curious about and I was really interested to see how they did them. The main one for me was Duloc with the mechanical dolls. And I'll just say that that scene is so good. I had to pause what I was watching Google that scene and compare the two images side for side because for a moment I was convinced they'd just used the actual scene, the actual shot. So really genuinely incredible. I don't know how long it took them. I feel like it would have taken just as long as the actual Shrek. 
it is fabulous. Apparently over 200 people collaborated on this. It's just, it's absolutely fantastic if you're a Shrek fan. If you haven't seen Shrek, as I said, please don't watch this first because I just don't think, well, first of all, you should watch Shrek. I promise you will love it. But this one just doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't have the same feel as Shrek. This one's much better if you actually love the film. The only thing I will say, and completely understandable, but the music is different, uh, which makes perfect sense, copyright, etc. You can parody a film, you can't just, you know, steal the music that's in it. It's amazing. If you love Shrek, you need to see this. It's as simple as that. Certain scenes don't take serious, don't take it seriously, you know, um, but it's amazing. It just covers everything. It's like a 101 of different animation styles. I promise you will love it. It is incredible. If you have a favourite scene in this or animation style, let me know. Also, let me know your favourite Shrek scene if you have one. For me, it's definitely please keep off of the grass, shine your shoes, wipe your face. It's brilliant. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't expect this. It is quite a masterpiece.